Interaction, interactive. This activity is interactive. This is something that we hear all the time. But there, for me, interaction is something, and it seems like for a lot of people teaching online, it's something different. Keeping students involved, says Fernaz. Yeah, students have to take part, says Alicia. Doing things together, collaboration. Students participate. Yeah, exchanging information, two-way communication, exchanging messages. Oh, great. Well, we're all on the same page here. Good. What I'm trying to say is that, to me, an interactive ex exercise is not a sentence on a website, and then you drag in the missing verb. And you often hear people talking about how this is interactive, and we've got these interactive exercises. And this is not interaction. You're not interacting with anything. You're dragging words around a screen. You're interacting with your mouse. Um, OK, now, there may be a place in a language course for you know choosing the correct verb and putting it in a sentence. But this is not the kind of teaching that I am interested in online. This is the kind of thing you can send your students off to other websites to do. It's there. You don't need to remake all of those drag and drop or grammar based activities. There are thousands of sites, especially for English language teaching, there. What we're interested in is creating activities that have real interaction, which is the way that you've been describing it, communication between people, collaboration, so on, uh, and that leads to real communication.